how to set up your Google Sites portfolio for the first time. If you go on to Google Sites, that's sites.google.com, we're going to go to the main sites page. And on our first time here, we're just going to make a blank site. We don't need any of these preset templates. They're going to give us too much stuff. First things first, you want to give your site a name. Uh, I'm going to name it Mr. Cambrin's Portfolio because that's what it is. It's my portfolio for digital design. I may put a space in there. And then to make sure that this thing goes and gets published, I'm just gonna do this step first. Publish to the web. The first thing it's gonna do is ask you to give your site a name so that when you type it into the internet, you can find it, sites.google.com slash christina.k12.de.us slash whatever I pick. I'll just leave Mr. Cameron. So then I say publish. And there we go. Now I have a website that's viewable on the internet. So in order to make this any kind of interesting site, we need to put some stuff on there. The first page I want you to make is an about me page. I'm just gonna write about me. And then I can come down here on the page and add a content block that adds a picture and a space for text. So over here I can say, Mr. Cambrin, you can put down your name, whatever you wanna put. And then I can make up or just tell you guys a bunch of stuff about myself. Hello, my, my name is Andrew Cameron, and I am a ninth grade student at Newark High School. So this is something that you might be saying, I probably should be saying that I'm not a ninth grade student, but you would, right? Um, this is my first year taking Digital Communications Technology. That's what they call this pathway at Newark High School. Um, I am a member of the marching band, swim team, cross country, and the musical. You can put whatever kinds of things that you are interested in. Maybe let people know a bit about yourself. Then, things about outside of school. In my free time, I like to read, draw, play the banjo, study foreign languages, stamp collect, and go skiing, right? Whatever it is that you like to do. Those are just some examples. Then you might either put uh, an avatar of yourself or some kind of photograph that you're happy with. I'll make my image here an outline of my noggin somewhere I'll find that photo probably should have had this part prepared so I'll just go into my Google Drive find some picture that I'm happy with of myself I made a logo of my head sometime where is it at head Maybe if I type in Cameron. There we go. Oh, but I need to export it real quick. Cancel. There we go. So here's my outline of my head. There I have a nice photo of myself. When photos get imported into Google Drive, or onto Google Sites, they oftentimes get cropped to the size of the frame. To make that show the whole image, I just hover above and click that uncrop button right there so I can see my whole photo, right? If you needed to cut off part of it, you can always click crop and then zoom it in, whatever you like. I don't wanna do that though. So we'll just say okay, and then we'll go to uncrop. Go back to regular size. There we go. A nice happy about me page that tells me about myself. We also want to, on this website, catalog the different projects we do in this class. So we're going to go over to the Pages tab. I'm going to go down here, and the first thing I'm going to do is add a menu section. To keep myself organized, I'm going to make a menu navigation here for this class. This is Foundations of Digital Design, or you can just put FDD, or you can put Foundations, whatever you like, Foundations of Digital Design design that is the first level of this course then you'll see now we have a home page we have a foundations page you could even go in and rename this home page to be the about me right because that's what it really is 
If I go to my heading, nothing pops up because there's no pages below it. I can click on these three dots, add a sub page, and my first project in digital design is my abstract design. I will go in and say done. Now, again, I'm going to go over to my insert tab, drop in a content block, and I can go in and find from earlier today where I exported my abstract design. Bring it in. Again, I'm going to uncrop that. And I can say abstract design. And then down here in the description, I want you to add information about what you were asked to do. In this project, I was asked to create an abstract design using the element of color. I created this design in Adobe Illustrator and exported it as a .png image. Great. The next thing I'm going to say is what I learned while doing this. During this project, I learned how to create shapes in Adobe Illustrator and how to use fill colors and move shapes whatever it is that you learned just tell me about it then finally what tell me what you were your challenges were and what you overcame to get this project done i initially found it very challenging to use the pen tool but with a little practice I now feel confident in my abilities. And you can add any additional details you want. Uh, you can also choose to put more than one example of this project you might have worked through on here. Anything that you, help, uh, you think helps document your process for creating this project. With that, we just need to go up and publish our changes. Every time we make changes on our Google Sites page, we have to publish it again. I'm going to say publish to confirm my changes. And now all of these changes are live. I can go over and see a preview of my site by clicking on the preview button. This is what it'll look like when you send it off to Mr. Cameron to grade, right? And I know that, oh, look, they put a menu, they added a sub page. You can also close out of your preview. And then at this point, all you need to do to get this project turned in, you're going to click on the copy published site link, copy that link. You want to just make sure you go over to that sharing setting here and make sure that everybody in the Christina School District can view your page. If you want mom and dad to be able to see it at home, you can turn that to be public, right? Now it's a public website. Copy that published site link and then turn that in on Schoology. And that is how you submit a project along with your Google Sites portfolio page.